Good. So the kit is now all set up. And the name of the game, whenever you're doing anything like this, or you're not entirely sure what's going to happen, is plan for every... Wait, what's the worst thing that can go wrong? So that's, let's get me into the shot if I can here. Let me get me in. Not quite. <laughs> um, come on, zoom out. There we go, super. Right, so, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some lithium, that's that stuff there, and some cesium chloride, there's that stuff there. You put your lithium into the cesium chloride, you melt this at about 650 Celsius, uh, and at that point, this the whole thing becomes a mix of cesium, metal, and lithium chloride, uh, the cesium is actually fairly volatile, especially at 650 degrees, and that's going to have a significant vapor pressure. Now, you might recall from my video that I did on this, you know, why does water boil, is you don't need water to boil for it to have a fairly decent vapor pressure. And so if this is 650 at the bottom, you're gonna have about a tenth of an atmosphere of cesium in here, which, right, the reason I'm doing this under vacuum is just a matter of mean free path. If I have argon in here, then that cesium has to sort of rattle through all of the cesium, um, through the argon before it gets to where I want it to go. That just slows everything down loads. So I, I'm gonna do this under vacuum. So I'm gonna have 600 degrees cesium atoms bouncing around in here, and they're actually a fantastic heat transfer agent. So once this gets up to 650 at the bottom, they get a vapor pressure of cesium, this will heat up very quickly and cesium will start condensing on here and I've got to get it cool enough by the time it gets down to this end of the kit. Um, this is my epoxy seal. I don't want my epoxy seal to fail, so I want the epoxy seal well below 100. So I've got to cool it down from about 400 degrees here, or 600, to room temperature here. That's probably not as tricky as you might think in that it turns out if I have a kilo of cesium, metal, and a kilo of water, it takes four times more energy to boil the water as to boil the cesium. Uh, if you wanted a very crude way of looking at it, with cesium there's only one atom there, and with water there are three. So uh, it, it's not far off, you know, it takes about three times more energy to heat up water than cesium, and similarly so when you come to boiling it. So my reckoning is if I'm, I'm the, the game here is, I reckon I'm going to do 100 grams, which is about, density of cesium is about 2 grams per mil, so it's going to be about 50 mils, uh, so it's about that much, that's how much cesium I'm going to be making. Uh, so what can go wrong? Well, the, um, the most horrific thing is lithium. Uh, lithium, not so reactive on its own, but it's a small iron and it's actually super reactive with anything it gets in contact with. You melt it in contact with glass, it's a nightmare. It just sort of burns through the glass, catches fire. Um, with metals, it's also a small metal that really likes to wipe away with things, especially at these elevated temperatures. So the real fear is that the lithium metal just eats straight through the stainless steel and zoomp, that's it. Um, you know, at this point, you've got uh, you know quite a lot of energy in the kit. Uh, the nice thing is cesium. Yeah, it's super reactive and it'll explode in water, but in air it'll burn. So you know, worst case scenario is it kind of catches fire and you get fifty grams of it burning. If you get if it catches fire, you just put a plate on the top or something that mostly contains the vapors. You should be, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, I don't think it's going to eat stainless in this case. I've found papers that says that stainless is actually fairly resilient to lithium. But even if I didn't know that, turns out that the previous time I did my distillation of cesium, I did it in stainless steel, and that survived fine. So I'm on more or less exactly the same dealing. I've heated the kit up uh, under vacuum 
seems fine, no leaks. Uh, almost certainly I'm going to get some little amounts of oxygen in here, which in practice means that the cesium is going to stick much more to the glass. When cesium is really pure, it doesn't stick to glass. This will probably stick to the glass lots. But that doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to redistill it at some further point to make it really pure. So, uh, I've got my vacuum up here. I've got my pieces of tissue paper, which I can spray with water. I'm going to keep that separate from the cesium. But uh, that, that's going to keep everything cool. Um, and yeah, so in the first instance, I'm going to vac it down. Then I'm going to fill it with argon. Important things to plan ahead for. Make sure, you know, this is a classic way things can go wrong and get out of control really quickly. Bottle falls over, pulls over the whole kit, and now you've got molten salt at 600 degrees, potentially catching fire. And this is one thing that I'm grateful about, is once you get this stuff at 650, mixed up with lithium, it's now a kind of more dilute solution. I don't think it'll catch fire. You know, even in the worst case scenario, even if it does, there's a limit to what can go wrong. It, it's not that far off the equivalent. Uh, when, when it burns, it releases about the same energy as butane burning. So it, it, it's got a really limited uh, scale for uh, causing problems like that. Your bigger problems are, uh, yeah, you know, it, you don't want this stuff spraying around under any circumstances, you know. Uh, whether it was cesium or not, if you get sprayed with something at 650 degrees, it's gonna burn like a shell of a bitch. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna keep the whole thing under vacuum the whole time. The one thing I don't ever want is for this kit to be under a positive pressure because then if there is a rupture, it's gonna spray. If it's under vacuum, it's gonna suck air in, won't do the pumps any good, but it should be mostly contained. Um, so, with that, I'm going to back it down, fill it up with argon, put in my cesium chloride down the top, put in my lithium down the top, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. <laughs>